Hello, happy new year, happy 2023. I'm going to do a live video kind of going over my 2022 and everything that I learned, but I saw a post the other day on the Feminine Fancy on her YouTube, her community tab, and she had three words for 2023. And something about that just resonated with me. And I said, I need three words for 2023. I need things to focus on in 2023. And, it, and it's not... People will have words like, oh, my word for the new year is confidence. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I just wanted some three powerful words. Confidence is good if that's something you need to work on. But I don't know, just on my healing journey, I, I, I have found it very beneficial to dig deeply, dig deeper. My three words are fearless, connection, and forgiveness. And I want to talk about fearless a little bit. Fearless was a word that I really had to connect with i'm here using all these words um that i really had to connect with earlier this year while i was really on my healing journey working on affirmations and raising my self-esteem and the way i view myself and i had talked about this before but i realized that a lot of my just a lot of things i had done in life a lot of my mindsets were based in fear a lot of the reasons why i wouldn't do things or why i wouldn't show up a certain way was because of fear fear of what others might think fear of what others might say and I realized that fearless was just a, a, a term that I had to connect with and say I am fearless I am fearless I am fearless and it is such an oxymoron because I've also read that as humans we, we all have fear you know we, we all we're, we're born with fear but I don't want us to succumb to those fears and it's important to not let your fears and your doubts and your insecurities override your faith and your confidence and your willingness to be great. So fearless is, that was an affirmation that I had. I still do struggle with some fears. It's so funny the other day, I actually um, was so scared. I was at the doctor and I almost passed, I almost passed out because fear is mental, but it can manifest in the physical and I, and I just, and I think sometimes when you are scared of something, your body knows it and it's okay to be afraid of something. But, you know, I was given my blood and I didn't want to, I didn't want to be a baby about it and be like, oh, I'm not going to be able to give my blood like, because I'm too scared, but I fought through it and I may have had to pass out. I may have had to, you know, have a couple hot flashes and get, you know, double vision, but I gave the blood. So I didn't, you know, I didn't let my, the, the, those fears, you know, over override my, my willingness to, to do what needed to be done. Fearless is just such a huge thing. It goes into confidence. I'm no longer really afraid. I'm no longer afraid of what other people may think of me. I'm just showing up as who I am. Can't be scared. Fear is all about you're afraid of something that has not even presented itself yet. You're, it's anxiety. You're afraid that something will happen that that is not real. Fear stands for false events appearing real. And we have got to just be, what's the word? Deli delivered from the spirit of fear. Y'all, I feel like my camera is blurry. So I am like so sorry if I'm blurry. Let me finish up, okay? All right, my next word is, that was fearless. My next word is, let's talk about for forgiveness. Forgiveness. Really, when I am talking about forgiveness, I mentioned in a, in a recent short on my channel about extending grace to people as we would want them to do to us, okay? Forgiveness. Understand that everyone is on their own journey of healing, of growing, of developing, or maybe they're not, which you really should forgive them. God bless them. Um, but everyone deserves forgiveness. Everyone deserves grace. I went through a situation recently where someone, well, how do I put this? How do I put this? Someone, I guess, kind of came at me you know, and I knew what was happening in the spiritual realm with that. So I didn't sink to the level of that person. That person later came and apologized. And in my mind or in my spirit, I just heard forgive, but don't forget. Forgive, but don't forget. Remember that you forgive people, not for them, but for you. You forgive for your own peace of mind, your own sanity, your own happiness. But 
not for them. It's for you. It's for your own clarity. But it is not, you, you, we don't forget. We don't hold grudges, but we don't forget, okay? It's, it's really, is kind of similar to setting boundaries. Like, yes, of course, I forgive you. I want to be at peace. I don't want to hold a grudge. But I know now that I cannot be as open or be as vulnerable. I see what you do with that. I see the kind of person you are. So I forgive you, but I don't forget about it. The other thing, too, with forgiveness, forgiving yourself. I've been doing a lot of reading lately, and one thing that has always come up is rem remembering to forgive yourself for past situations and understanding that you did the best that you could with what you knew at that time, with what you were aware of at that time. Um, this past year, there were many situations, or just in my life, many situations where because I'm so focused on self-growth and development, it could be two days later, I'm like, you know, thinking in hindsight, why did I do that? I should have done this. It would have been so much. And being so hard on myself, and I had to remember, Nicole, yes, you grew. You're not the same person today as you were probably two days ago, two weeks ago. But you did the best that you could at that time. So just forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for acting in a, in a way or entertaining a situation that you know was not was not beneficial to you. Another thing that I've kind of been struggling with when it comes to forgiveness is if I, you know, if I set a schedule, if I tell myself I'm going to do something, if I tell myself I'm going to be productive and I end up just kind of being lazy or lounging around or being tired, it's okay, guys. Be graceful with yourself. Forgive yourself for not always keeping your word when it comes to you and keeping your word when it comes to your friends and your family. But remember that the way that you want do one thing is how you do everything. So if you make a if you make a plan with your friend or with whoever that you're y'all gonna meet up somewhere at a certain time, try not to flake on them, you know, because if you do that, that's fine. But that kind of shows that you do the same kind of thing within your own lifestyle. And it just will manifest in your in your life. I mean, with with your mind, with your body, with your spirit, with everything that you do, whether it's your school, your finances, your faith, you want to kind of just make sure that you are keeping your word. But if you do have to switch it up a little bit, forgive yourself for that. And forgive others when they have to do that to you, but don't forget it. Um, okay. The last word is connection. Connection, connection, connection. I will be turning 24 this year and, you know, I'm, I'm continuing to grow, to meet people. And I am really focusing now on connecting with people, okay, if, if I need to, you know. I mean, we connect with people all the time, but making sure that if, if the relationship goes a little bit deeper, making sure that I am connecting with them and not just becoming attached to them. I have had a problem being attached to people since high school. That's when it first happened for me. And I am healing that, you know, working on that trauma response that that might be coming from. But making sure that I, because attachment comes from trying to fill a void. So in my mind, I'm working, okay, what is the void that I'm trying to fill? How can we, how can we speak positive self-talk and make sure I don't have this empty void that I'm looking to fill, you know, in kind of giving off this desperate energy no we want to make sure we're not becoming attached but that we're becoming connected the way to truly be connected though is to really know who you are you know the way to really become connected with other people genuinely is to know who you are connect with yourself spend time with yourself reflect connect okay understand your mind understand your moods and then when you go and meet people make sure that you're connecting with them okay but not based off of their looks not based off of lust or or chemistry but really off of off of you know foundational things morals and values and character the thing about this though the thing about connection is that it takes time to become connected with someone because it's gonna have to take you being in a certain it, or are you showing a certain emotion to see how they respond to see if y'all are connected or not? But when you're be, when you're attached, you just oh quick, I like this person. Boom, met up with them once, saw them once, had a good conversation with them, laughed a few times. Boom, I'm connected. This is what no, that is not. Or I'm attached. No, that is not true connection. It does take time um, because you have to really get to know this person. So it's all about guarding your heart and guarding your spirit. So those are my three words: connection fearless and forgiveness they're written on my mirror i hope this inspired and enlightened you i want to know what your what your not even your goals not even your new year's resolutions it's not even really 
about that for me at this point in my life, but it's about healing. And those three words, I'm just so looking forward to applying them and remembering them when I go through life situations this year and beyond. Thank y'all for watching.